I know that there are lots of, of companies out there that make their big dollars uh, with the idea that says, hey, they'll never tell you that they want somebody under the age of 21 to drink, but they make enough of those sweet, syrupy, kind of good tasting stuff that um, people under the age of 21 would gravitate towards. And alcohol is, is one of the most devastating drugs that there, uh, that there is, even though it's legal. I think it's a lethal combination, youth and alcohol. I have a, I have a problem with it, being a mother of an 18-year-old son who decided that when he turned 18 and moved out, that drinking was going to be part of his new lifestyle. And to stop by his home and see his collection of bottles of different things he's drank, and to see him inebriated and be embarrassed that his mother showed up one afternoon. It wasn't even at night, it was in the afternoon to find him inebriated. It was a, a, an eye-opener. I just had no idea that, 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 he, that he drank the way he did. Girls drink a lot more than guys. Guys are just stand there. Girls are like trying to like be all pretty and they think it makes them look more, what is it, elegant, like more girly and flirtatious. Oh yeah, you see girls drinking more of the flavored drinks like candy apple and stuff like that. And when they advertise it on, on a commercial and stuff, they show partying and people having fun while they're doing it and stuff. So of course like underage people want to have fun and do that stuff too, so that would make them use it. Usually the girls will be drinking the Smirnoffs and the younger kids will be drinking the Smirnoffs because they obviously taste sweeter and that's what I went for when I was younger. Hi, I'm Kayla. And I'm Nikki. We're seniors here at El Monte High School in Visalia, California. And we're here to talk to you about teenage drinking. Earlier in the school year, we surveyed students in our area about their decision to drink over the holidays. And the results surprised us. We discovered a large number of freshmen would choose to drink for the first time over the holidays. This mirrors a recent study that found that every day, more than 5,600 kids in the U.S. under age 16 take their first drink. Our survey also revealed that the seniors on our campus have the highest percentage of regular drinkers. We wanted to investigate the one beverage that everybody drinks, Alka Pops. Alka Pops are those sweet, brightly colored fizzy drinks that have sugar content and packaging of soda but contain alcohol. The taste is, does not taste like alcohol. It tastes kind of like, uh, kind of like 7-Up with a twist is what it tastes like. Alka Pops are also called gateway drinks. Gateway drinks are alcoholic beverages that ease us into drinking and pave the way to more traditional booze. 90% of teens agree that these newer sweet drinks can make it more likely that teenagers will try other alcoholic beverages. Drinks like Smirnoff Ice and Bacardi Silver help make this true. They are introducing the brand names of their hard liquor siblings to young people. In fact, marketing is the key to smoothing the transition. It is often hard to tell the difference between a soda and an alcohol pop between a juice and a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Marketing for Alcopops is so effective that now soda has started looking like beer. More than packaging, it is television that has the greatest impact on us. Alcopop ads show that house parties are more fun. And flirting is a lot easier if you drink. Ads like Mike's Hard Lemonade let us make fun of the risks of drinking and help us minimize the risk for bad behavior. There's a marketing strategy to target um, our youth today. I do. Um, as far as flavor, color, promotion. Advertising makes a huge difference in our decision to drink. A January 2006 study found that the marketing alcohol advertising in Los Angeles was $88.75 million. They also found that youth in markets with more alcohol advertising drink more and continue to increase their drinking levels over time. It's not just commercials. There's product placements in TV shows, sports promotions, and even online. Every day we are surrounded with ads for alcohol, and these ads usually target women. Alcopops are marketed as fun, cool, and sexy, things that are important to us. With the average age of a girl's first drink at 13, it's no surprise that most young women prefer to drink Alcopops more than any other alcohol. In fact, teen girls report drinking Alcopops more than any other alcoholic drink. The Smirnoffs are more like the girl drinks. I believe young women drink alcohol pops more because it, they taste better than beer. Beer is awful, awful, and everyone everyone knows that. And so if there's any way that they can get drunk, just like drinking a soda, they'll do it. 
The problem is everywhere. All you have to do is look at popular websites like MySpace. You know, as a technology teacher, I see all too often kids going online, posting pictures of themselves, partying and drinking. The thing is, is they think that no one else can see them but their friends. But anybody can log on and see picture after picture after picture of young kids in high school drinking these Alcopops. Students from all over the state have been speaking out about the dangers of Alcopops. And they've been doing it in our state's capital, Sacramento, California. The question posed by today's <coughs> informational hearing, uh, flavored malt beverages, are they beer or distilled spirit, is the question of the day. With Alcopops lined up in front of senators like Dean Flores, students were given the opportunity to have their voices heard at the state level. They look just like juice beverages or soda and smell sweet. I've heard that parents unknowingly have bought them thinking that they were just lemonade in a liquor store refrigerator. Uh, I feel that the alcohol industry does target youth mm -hmm. through advertisement and through product placement. The students were able to cast a light on the Alcopops problem from a teen perspective. Most adults don't consider Alcopops as alcohol because I have a couple of those bottles in my fridge. I can probably get one bottle and drink it from my parents. They don't notice because they consider it as soda. This meeting gave us a much needed audience. It's very confusing. A lot of parents have the Alcopops in their refrigerator and have absolutely no clue what they are. And they also know that the kids are drinking them in parties and really think they don't, they don't know that there's alcohol in them. It was also a chance for the Senate to taste and compare sodas to Alcopops. The results did not surprise us. <laughs> they taste the same. They, do they taste the same to you? Pepsi, Coke, they taste the same. As students, what do we want to do about this problem? We like the idea of classifying Alcopops as distilled spirits instead of beer. This will result in an additional tax revenue that can be used for prevention, treatment, and enforced programs that will help reduce underage drinking. We are also helping by making videos like this one to help protect our peers from alcohol-related problems. I think it's really important that our policymakers, community members, and parents understand the risks that young people might be inclined to take under the influence of alcohol. Teen pregnancy, sexual violence, drinking driver crashes, academic failure, suicide, or just a few. What can you do to help us? I need. I need. I need. I need. I need. We, we need. need. Our, Our community, community needs. needs. For you. For you. For you. For you. For you. For you. For you to help us. For you to help us.